Hello again everybody. We're going to think about what that passage means for us now, Psalm 20. To help us do this, I'd like you to get a piece of paper and draw two big circles on your paper, like this. Now, have a little think. Are there any situations or things in your life at the moment that you would like God to help you with? Perhaps if I show you some pictures, it might help you. Would you like God to help you with any of those things? What I'd like you to do is to write or draw some things in your first circle that you would like God to help you with. I'm going to do one now. There's my first one. It's quite difficult when everybody's indoors and we can't get out very much to be patient. Sometimes we can get cross with each other. I'd like God to help me to be patient this week. Why don't you pause the video and fill in your circle now with the things that you would like God to help you with this week. Did you manage to fill your circles with some of the things that you wanted God to help you with this week? I hope so. How do we know though that we can trust God to help us with these things? Well, David knew that he could trust God because he remembered. He remembered how God had helped him in the past. He remembered how God had helped him to slay Goliath and to kill the wild animals when he was a shepherd. We can remember what God has done for, our, for us in the past and what he's done for others. The Bible's full of stories about the way that God has protected and loved and cared for the people that he loves. And we are those people. In King David's time, everyone had to offer sacrifices or burnt offerings to God. But we don't even have to do that. We can come to God just as we are and we can call on him to help us because Jesus has made the sacrifice for us. He died on the cross and he came back to life and he showed us that he is more powerful than anything, even death. So we can trust him and we can come to him and we can bring our requests and our prayers and he's promised that he'll hear us and answer us. So we don't need to trust in chariots and horses and other things that can let us down. But we put our trust in the name of the Lord our God. Now, about that second circle. Well, I'd like you to have a little think about the ways that you could help others this week. Is there anything you could do for someone in your family? Maybe you could get them a drink. Maybe you could help to clear the toys away. Maybe you could look after a younger brother or sister. You could definitely pray for your family and for the people that you know and for the world. And God will hear your prayer. It's been great spending some time with you this week. I hope you've enjoyed our video. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. I'm going to hand you over to Claire now. She's going to pray and we're going to sing one last song. See you next week.